Good afternoon. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to present a truly novel patient decision aid that will revolutionize the shared decision making. For an effective shared decision making, it is recommended that the patient should actively take part in the decisions about their treatment. No decision about me without me was used as a mantra since 2011 King's Fund article. Cochrane Review showed that with the use of PDAs, a well-informed patient tend to choose a less invasive treatment. Boston team showed that when PDA is used in hip and knee arthritis, 15.4% fewer patients choose operations compared to the control group. Nice and Gurft recommend the use of PDA for both decision making and reaffirmation. The current PDAs are impractical to use on the shop floor and do not show all treatment options relevant to the stage of the disease. There is no option for self-directed comparison and they are not visually attractive. Most fall short of Montgomery standard option discussion. Torbay chart addresses all these shortcomings. Here is an example of knee arthritis Torbay chart and a link for the video showing how this works. Torbay chart is a revolutionary tool and has a friendly multi-layer interactive infographic interface. The overview mode can be printed and used during consultation. On the website, further information regarding each treatment is given with videos and options for self-directed comparisons. Patients can browse at their leisure, either alone or with their family later. The overview chart is divided into three areas, allowing staging of the disease with treatments matched to each stage. In the knee arthritis chart, 19 treatments are displayed in one place. Different treatments overlap each other, thus giving patients a choice. Initial pilot was conducted over 8 week period in Torbay Hospital by physios or ESPs as they are the first point of contact. Torbay chart was used to lead the conversation and the patients were shown where they were in their arthritic journey and what treatments were relevant to them. Patients were free to choose any appropriate treatment that fitted their individual circumstance or when requested, a treatment was recommended. Outcome was measured by a simple questionnaire. Patients were asked if they appreciated the available treatment options, the recommended treatment, and how helpful the Torbe chart was with their SDM conversation. Additionally, they were asked if they came to the consultation expecting to be listed for an operation and subsequently changed their mind and chose a non-operative treatment. Now for the results from our pilot test. 100 out of 107 patients scored 8 or more out of 10 and said that they understood what treatment options were available to them. 98 out of 106 said that they understood why a particular treatment was recommended. Over 93% said Torbay chart helped with their SDM conversations. Following the pilot testing in Torbay Hospital and after approval from the Devon STP, Torbay chart was also trialed in other regional trusts in Devon. Results from the other two centers were very similar to our pilot test. About 8% patients changed their mind and chose non-operative treatment having come to the clinic expecting surgery. The breakup from all the hospitals are given in the table. If we were to consider a modest 2% surgery avoidance, we could save at least £72,000 per year in our hospital. Translating this to the NJR figure, there is a potential savings of at least £26 million per year for the NHS. This is a conservative estimate as much higher figure of surgery avoidance is quoted in the published literature. The practitioners felt that with Torbay chart, the consultations were easy, focused and much quicker. Printed chart served as a focal point for exchange of facts and ideas, leading to an engaging discussion. Patients seemed to understand why some options were irrelevant to them. Torbay chart truly gives a personalized, fully informed treatment choice and is likely to meet the expectations set in the Montgomery verdict. I am the innovator of the concept of Torbay charts. I thank Matt for his help in this project. Thank you very much for listening.